Hey everyone, this is Parkav Sutar and today we are going to learn what is a Boolean algebra. Now in this session we will understand what is a Boolean algebra and some of the examples. Now see what is a Boolean algebra? A lattice A less than or equals to is known as a Boolean algebra or also we can say that it is a Boolean lattice if it is both complemented and distributed. Now let us take note. See, these are the two results, or we can say note. Now let us contains two raised to n elements for any n greater than or equals to zero if it is a Boolean algebra. So if it is a Boolean algebra, it contains two raised to n elements. And if it is a Boolean algebra, then the lattice contains greatest element and the least element of the whole graph. Now we'll understand in the example. Now let us take example. The first one determine whether this given set a equals to 1 2 3 6 with divisibility is boolean algebra now justify your answer uh, now the given set is 1 2 3 6 now see this is the partial order relation on a set now first to prove it is a boolean algebra we need to check it is a lattice and we need to check it is a complemented lattice and as well as the distributive lattice. But now you can see that here only the set is given and all and the relation that means the divisibility relation. So in this example, we will have to construct first what is a relation. Then next we need to construct a haze diagram and then we will check whether it is a lattice or not. And after that, we'll check it is uh, whether it is a, a distributive or complemented and and if they are both, then we can say that it is a Boolean algebra. So now first, what will be the relation? Now see, uh, the set is 1, 2, 3, 6. Now the relation is set of all x, y, such that this x divides y. Okay, now see, we have four elements. So the relation will be, we know that 1 divides 1. So 1, 1 will be there. Now 1 divides 2. So 1, 2 will be there. Now 1 divides 3. So 1, 3 and 1 divide 6. Now just fix 2. Now 2 divides, uh, now 2 divides 3, no. So 2, 3, there won't be that. Now 2 divides itself, so 2, 2 will be there. Now 2 divides 6, so 2, 6 will be there. In same manner, 3, let's, let's fix 3. Now 3 divides itself, so 3, 3. Now 3 divides 6, so 3, 6. And last, this uh, 6 so 6 divides itself so it will be like this so this will be the relation now we will construct a haze diagram so the haze diagram will be like this but how let's check see we have the relation so just take uh, four points okay here one two three and four now first we will construct the diagram and then this will be the result. Now let us take here 1, 2, 3 and 6. Now see 1 divides 1. So like it will be like this. Same way 2 divides 2. Then 3 divides 3 and 6 divides 6. Now 1 is related to 2. So that means it will be like this. And here also the directions are there then 1 divides 3 so 1 divides 3 then 1 divides 6 so 1 divides 6 then 2 divides 2 that is done now 2 divides 6 so 2 divides 6 now 3 divides 3 so that is there now 3 divides 6 so 3 divides 6 and 6 divides 6 so this will be the diagram now we want to find the his diagram so that means we will remove the transitive edges and self loop now see one is related to one this first self loops won't be there this first second third and fourth now wh what is the transitive edge one is related to one one is sorry one is related to two one is re two is related to six so this uh, this edge won't be there so you can see that this edge this transitive edges it is not there and rest of it will be there so this is how we can create the haze diagram now next 
Now for the lattice, we will have to create the GLB table and LUB table. So what will be it? Uh, this is the same diagram or same haze diagram that is. Now first let us consider or let us create the LUB table. So see, we, we have four points and this is uh, this is the symbol for LUB. So we will have this one, two, three and six in row and also this in column. Now one and one. What will be one and one? So it is the same point. So it will be one. Now one and two. So that means one and two. This is the least upper bound. So it will be two. So you can say that it is two. Now what is one and three? So one and three. It is the least upper bound. So it will be three. Now one and six. So one and six. The least upper bound. So that will be six. Now for second. Now two and one. For one and two it was two. So here it will be two. Now two and two it is the same point. So two. Now two and three. Now two and three. So you can see that this is how. So this is the least upper bound. So six is the least upper bound. Now two and six. Now two and six. So the least upper bound that is six. So the answer will be six. In same manner three one. Uh, three and one it will be three. So three then three and two. In two and three it was six. So it will here it will be six. Now three and three. It is the same point now three and six. So three and six it is six. Next six one in one six it was six. So here it will also be six. Now see you can see that the six is the up bound. So in uh, each and every entry you will get six. Now in same manner you can create the GLB table. This is the symbol. There will be four points uh, in the row and same manner one two three and six. Now. Uh, we'll continue. Uh, we'll check for two or three examples. So let us consider. So let us consider this uh, three and uh, two. So let us consider three and two. So this is the greatest lower bound. So how, what is the greatest lower bound? There has to be a, re a relation from lower points to the upper points or to the given set. So we can go from one to three and we can go from one to two. So it will be one. Now, hence you can see that every pair or subset has a GLB as well as LUB. So for lattice, this is enough. So it is a lattice. Now we will check whether it is a distributive lattice or a complemented lattice. Now see, A has the least element. How? Uh, now see, this is the graph, the haze diagram. This is the lowest element and this is the greatest element. So 6 is the greatest element, so we denote it by I. And 1 is the least element, so we'll denote it by O. So it is 1 and the greatest element is 6. Now see, the number of elements are how many? They are 4 and we can say that is 4 equals to 2 raised to 2. So this condition satisfies. So now just consider 2, 3, that is 6 and 2, 3, 1. How? Now see, this was the graph 1, 2, 3 and 6. Now 2 and 3, the GLB of 2 and 3, that is 6 and 2 and 3 is lower bound, that is 1. So this is the I. This is I and this is O. So therefore complement of 2 is 3 and complement of 3 is 2. And we can say that this was the uh, haze diagram 1, 2, 3 and 6. That means complement of 2 is 3 and in same manner complement of 1 is 6. Because this is the least element. Because this is the least element and this is the greatest element. So that means they are complement of each other and 2's complement is 3 and 3's complement is 2. So hence it is a complemented lattice. Now uh, we can show that the operations are distributive. So let us check. See 2 or 2 and 3 equals 2. That so this is we need to check. 
now two and threes let's consider one two three and six now see two and three is lower bound so that is one now two and one's upper bound so two and one upper bound that is two so here left hand side will be two now two or two so it is clearly two now two or three so two or three so that means it will be six so and two and six least above uh, greatest lower bound. two and six greatest lower bound that is two so two and two that means both are satisfying the left hand side hence LSS equals to RSS, so it is a distributive lattice. So it satisfies all the requirements of Boolean algebra. That is, the complemented. It has to be a complemented lattice and also a distributive lattice. So it is a Boolean algebra under divisibility. Uh, let us consider next example. See, determine whether the following case diagram represent Boolean algebra. So that means here. The graph is given like this. We have two graphs. So what will be it? Now see, most of the students do mistakes of checking all those conditions and the GLP table and LUB table. But first, we need to check whether the number of elements are like two raised to n or not. So you can see that how many points are there in first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is six elements are there. Now can we write the 6 into t raised to n form then we write it 6 and now we cannot see 2 raised to 1 is 2 2 raised to 2 is 4 and 2 raised to 3 is 8 so we cannot write 6 as 2 raised to n so that's it we got our answer that it is not a boolean algebra just by looking at the number of points now here also how many points are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so again, there are six elements. So six cannot be returned as two raised to n. So it's not a Boolean answer. That's it. So you can see that the number of elements in the above his diagram is six, but every Boolean algebra is isomorphic to a Boolean algebra having this two raised to n elements. For some n belongs to n, as we cannot write like this. So hence, it is not a Boolean answer. Thank you.